Microsoft has released a lot of features for Copilot recently, and in this video, we're going to take a look at three updates to agent mode that will help you work faster in Excel. So let's go. So if you haven't heard, agent mode is an AI feature in Excel that can perform complex multi-step tasks in the workbook. It's pretty amazing, and the first major update is that agent mode is now available in the desktop version of Excel. Here I am in the Windows desktop version, and you can see I have agent mode open over here. I just have a workbook with some sales data in it. I'm going to paste in my prompt to create a quarterly sales performance dashboard. Go ahead and submit that, and agent mode will get to work to create this dashboard. And in about three minutes, agent mode has created this dashboard sheet in the workbook here with some charts and pivot tables and slicers. And of course, we can read more about what agent mode did here. We can scroll down and see everything that's included, how it was built, and additional details on all of the work. The next update is that agent mode is now part of Copilot in Excel. It used to be a separate add-in, but we can now access it from the Home tab by clicking the Copilot button to open the Copilot chat. And here in Tools, we'll see Agent Mode. Click that, and then you can insert your prompt for Agent Mode. It's important to note that Agent Mode is currently a Frontier feature, so you will need to enable Frontier features for Copilot in your Office admin. And this is likely something that your organization or IT administrator will do. And the third update is Model Options. So here in the agent mode window, we now have this dropdown where we can choose between GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet 4.5. And it's really great that Microsoft is giving us some options here. So we'll start with GPT-5, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a prompt that I used in my previous video on agent mode to create this Christmas season planner. And we'll go ahead and kick that off. And here is the result. Agent Mode has added several sheets to the workbook with these tables based on my description. You can see them all here. They use icons to give it a nice holiday or Christmas theme, and everything looks pretty good. So now let's do the same thing with the Claude model. Go ahead and select that, paste in the exact same prompt, and kick that off. And here are the results. We get similar results where we have lists here on each sheet. We have several sheets created. These are all the sheets I asked for with some sample data, and there are some formulas here as well. And before you use Claude, your administrator will need to go into the Copilot settings and enable the Anthropic models. And I wanted to highlight some of the differences between the models. So I've jumped back to the file that GPT created, and I've noticed with GPT, it uses a lot more elements and features of Excel. For example, here it's using Excel tables. It also used a merged cell up here, whether you like that or not. I've also noticed that oftentimes it will use data validation or dropdown lists in cells like this. It didn't here, but it does do that sometimes. And the formulas here within the table or even outside of the tables tend to be a little bit more accurate. You'll also notice that it reasoned in eight steps over here and gives a lot of details on those steps. And if you scroll down, we can also see the details here as well. And again, a lot more detail on the changes it made to the workbook. Jumping to the file that Claude created, we can see it just looks a little more basic. It's not using Excel tables here or some of the other elements or features of Excel. I've also noticed that the functions and formulas that it writes tend to be a little bit older or outdated and also have some errors. So in this example here, this count A function is including this range down here. So this is not the correct result. And this can happen in any model. So it's always good to check the formulas that the models create. And over here in the chat pane, you can also see that it only reasoned for two steps. And there is less detail here, although still thorough, less detail overall in what it did. Now this could be that the Claude model is just not fully integrated with Excel yet. The system prompts on the back end might not be instructing it to use some of these newer features or elements of Excel. I also followed up with both models asking it to create a month view calendar from the events table. This is what Claude came up with. Looks really nice. However, these are hard coded values. They're not actually formulas here. So if changes were made to that original list, they would not be reflected here. And this is the result from GPT, which is a lot more dynamic. You can see this um, monster let formula here in each of the day cells. It's gonna pull in the data from that calendar events table. It's also dynamic in that you could change the month here and the whole calendar will update as well. 
Now I purposely kept these prompts fairly vague just to see what the models would come up with, but typically you'd wanna put in a lot more detail here on what you're expecting to get the best results. So even though my initial tests favored GPT, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the better model. I think it's great that we have options here and I highly encourage you to try both. If you've only been using Copilot and ChatGPT up until this point, well then you're missing out on a lot of other great features from some of the other major models like Claude and Gemini, especially when it comes to data analysis and automation. I talk more about this in my AI Literacy for Excel course. In the course, you'll learn how to use different AI tools for everything from simple data analysis to more complex process automation. The course covers all popular AI tools, including Copilot, ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. We've already received a ton of great feedback on the course, and our members are saving a lot of time with their everyday Excel tasks. When you complete the course, you'll also receive a certificate of completion that you can post to your LinkedIn profile. Right now we have a special holiday sale going on and I'll put a link in the description below where you can learn more and join us. So I hope that helps. I'd love to know how you'll be using agent mode. So leave a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna learn other ways to automate Excel with AI, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.